Ever since the very first game of the Super Mario franchise, the player has always started with a finite amount of lives that could be increased by gaining 1-up mushrooms, or stringing together combos by bonking off enemies. In certain games in the series, this proved to be important as there could be a few sections in levels where dying is much easier, or where the amount of lives you have unlock certain features. My name is Copycat, and in this video, I'm going to show you all every infinite lives trick in every Mario game. Here I'll go through all the details of how to perform every exploit and glitch to gain those lives. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button to stay notified when I upload new videos. The very first 1-Up exploit that started it all takes place in World 3-1 of the original Super Mario Bros. Towards the end of the level, there are a pair of Koopas on the staircase right before the flag. What you have to do is trap one of the Koopas in shell form against yourself and a brick in the stair where you can then jump and angle Mario correctly to continuously bunk off it. If you did it just right, you'll rack up the combo, gaining an insane amount of 1-ups. You'll see from upcoming games that this way of doing this trick is very common, making it seem like it was maybe almost intentionally added. Super Mario Bros. 2 doesn't have an infinite lives exploit, but there is one way to gain a lot of coins to increase your chances in winning lives through the bonus chance minigame. One example of gaining these coins takes place in World 1-2, by grabbing the potion door and placing it very close to the blades of grass. When you enter the sub area, the vegetables turn into coins that you need to collect before the timer runs out. Next, directly enter and exit the cave area, and repeat the steps to collect even more coins. Now, the only unfortunate thing here is that the game only allows you to collect a maximum of 12 coins per level, and on top of that, the bonus chance game is extremely difficult to win, so this exploit only slightly helps you. Super Mario Bros. 3 actually has a few infinite lives exploits that can be a bit tedious to pull off. The first of these takes place in World 1-2, and requires you to be Raccoon Mario so you can effectively bonk off the Goombas that spawn from the pipes. Timing here can be a bit tricky, but if you do it properly, you can rack up a pretty big 1-up combo. Another one you can do takes place in World 3-4, where you have to make sure the Lakitu is following you, then grab a Koopa shell and ensure you kick it so it travels back and forth between the two wooden blocks. If you've positioned everything properly and got the Lakitu to follow you, then the Koopa shell will kill every single spiny he throws. Here, just sit and wait while you collect the 1-ups. Finally, the hardest one you can do in this game takes place in World 4-1, and requires you to use the Super Leaf power-up and bonk between three giant Koopas. Now, this is way harder than the Goomba one, and way harder than it seems, as being precise with your inputs is a must. Another trick here is to manipulate the camera a bit so the Koopas will respawn off-screen. However, this still took me a long time to perfect, and my wrist started to really hurt, so I wouldn't really recommend doing this method. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels has one really simple infinite lives trick that takes place in the very first level, World 1-1. Here you need to carefully collect the mushroom without killing the Koopa or scrolling off screen, then trap the Koopa so it's stuck on the single brick to the right. Next, clear the two blocks above you so you can continuously bonk off the Koopa, easily collecting lives. Super Mario World has two very different ways to gain infinite lives that can be a bit tricky to pull off. The first takes place in the Forest of Illusion 1, where you need to use the Cape Feather power-up to bonk off the three Wigglers that are positioned very close to one another. This is similar to the Koopa Shell one that we looked at in Super Mario Bros. 3, as it takes some really precise timing and a bit of camera manipulation to properly pull off. The second infinite lives trick is actually a glitch that takes place in Chocolate Island 5, where you can clip a P-switch through the specific block. The setup for this is extremely complicated, and to do it, you'll need to enter the level with a Yoshi and power it up with a mushroom. To start, clear all the spinies in the area and quickly clear the left two blocks using Mario's spin move. Next, take damage so you return to small Mario form, then place the P-switch in position away from any walls. What you have to do is quickly run over the P-switch with Yoshi, then lick up the P-switch which will actually create a duplicate of that item. Next, dismount from Yoshi and flick the P-switch upwards in this exact spot which will trigger the spawning of three random 1-up mushrooms. Now if you do this again, it will begin to spawn an infinite amount of 1-up mushrooms, slowing down the screen immensely. This glitch is a bit hard to pull off, it took me some time to figure out, but it is the best way to quickly gain a maximum 99 lives. 
Super Mario Advance isn't exactly a direct port of Super Mario Bros. 2 as it adds different level layouts, enemies, and items. Because of these small changes, there's actually an infinite lives exploit that you can perform in World 3-3. To do this, you just need to grab the shell and bring it to the bottom of the vertical room. Throw it down near this door and just wait for the Shy Guys to spawn, letting you rack up the 1-ups. The infinite lives trick in Super Mario 64 for the N64 is relatively easy, but could take a long time to perform. Right at the start of the game, you can find a 1-up mushroom on top of the third tree to the left of the waterfall. If you enter the castle then immediately exit back out, the mushroom will respawn which you can collect endlessly if you keep repeating the same process. Super Mario Sunshine has a few exploits that you can perform to gain an infinite amount of lives, although most of these are very tedious requiring a lot of time and effort to achieve. However, there is one that's much easier which takes place in Episode 5 of Pianta Village. Here, get to the secret Chuckster level and find the platform where the strolling stews spawn from the walls. What you have to do is spray three of them so they flip upside down, then jump on one of them which will spawn a 1-up mushroom. Now, the really odd thing here is that you can continuously repeat this until you gain a maximum of 99 lives. I'm not sure why this is a mechanic in this game, but I guess I'm not complaining. I decided to add Super Mario 64 DS to this video as it holds one of the strangest 1-up exploits you'll ever see. To pull this off, you have to go into Thwomp's Fortress, select red coins on the floating aisle, and break the block to gain the mushroom, making Mario way bigger. Next, go to the corner so you can quickly teleport near the top of the fortress, then scale up the side of the wall and ever so slightly touch the wooden plank. If you did it just right, the plank will fall on you and you'll instantly gain an insane amount of 1-ups for some unknown reason that I'm still not really clear about. New Super Mario Bros. DS was the franchise's return to 2D platforming and with it brought back a much more simple 1-up exploit that takes place right away in World 1-1. All you have to do is power up with the mushroom and towards the end of the level, grab a Koopa shell waiting until it wakes up in your hand so it gets stuck on the staircase right before the flag. This situation looks a bit familiar, doesn't it? Oddly enough, Super Mario Galaxy's Infinite Lives trick works very similarly to Super Mario 64 as it's all done in the game's overworld. Underneath the stairs of the Kitchen Dome, there's a 1-up mushroom you can collect that actually respawns every time you enter the galaxy's select area. If you keep repeating the cycle of collecting it, entering then exiting the dome, you can gain an infinite amount of lives even if it takes quite a while to do. New Super Mario Bros. Wii also has the traditional staircase Koopa 1-up exploit that can be performed at the end of World 2-3. Now, obviously by now, you've noticed that this method is a really common thing, meaning that Nintendo was probably intentionally adding this in their later games at this point, as sort of just a bit of an easter egg. However, there is one glitch way that will allow you to gain an infinite amount of coins, and therefore an infinite amount of 1-ups that you can do in the World 4 castle. On this spinning gate, wait for the Koopa to come around, then jump, hit it with your ice ball from your ice flower power up, then grab the gate again and quickly spin to the other side. If you did it correctly, then the frozen Koopa will continuously spit out an endless amount of coins that can be collected and turned into lives. The 1-up exploit in Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a little bit different than what we've seen so far, but it at least still uses a Koopa. However, this is a giant one in the supermassive galaxy, where all you have to do is continuously bonk off one of the three on the small planet, which will allow you to quickly rack up the 1-ups. To be honest, this is probably one of the easiest ones you'll see in this video. Super Mario 3D Land is a very interesting game in the franchise as it brings classic 2D Mario elements into the 3D realm. The other thing it brings in, of course, is the classic Infinite Lives exploit. All you have to do is go to World 1-2 and jump on one of the Koopas close to the question mark blocks. Angle Mario's jump correctly and he will repeatedly bounce off the shell which will quickly rack up the lives and, to be honest, is pretty easy. 
There are a few different ways you can do 1-up exploits in New Super Mario Bros. 2, but I will just show you my favorite one. This is done in World 3-4 and requires you to have the Super Leaf power-up so you can flick the Koopa Shell next to the vine in the secret area. What you have to do next is grab onto the vine, then start to lower Mario until he kicks the shell into the unbreakable block. If you've angled yourself just right, the shell will travel between the block and Mario's feet, allowing you to rack up an incredible amount of 1-up lives. The infinite lives trick in New Super Mario Bros. U requires you to bring the baby Yoshi in the World 1 overworld back to the very first level. There you need to place the Yoshi in the small gap in between a pipe and the wall. Next, grab a shell and also put it in the gap where the Yoshi is. For some reason the presence of the Yoshi will time it so that you can continuously bonk off the shell, gaining a lot of 1-ups. Super Mario 3D World's Infinite Live Trick is extremely similar to Super Mario 3D Lands as it takes place in World 1-2 and also uses a Koopa Shell. Here however, it's easiest to drop down to this hidden area, then throw the shell in this very small archway where you can easily jump on it. Alright, so that's going to be it for today's video guys, I really hope you did enjoy this one. Obviously Super Mario Odyssey would usually be in the spot, but that game completely ditches lives in general, so there's not really an infinite lives exploit that you can do here. If you guys haven't yet, then please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and let me know in the comments below of any video ideas you want me to do. Also, if you haven't yet, then please follow my Instagram at CopycatGamer, where I upload some cool clips and items from my collection you won't see anywhere else. Hope you guys all have a good day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!